Thank you fans, Madarant here, and welcome to another episode with Metalphysis using Mash Spectres and Ariadne. And this is not the opening you want to get when you're going against what looks like Monarchs. And painful decision will be our first play. So we'll add at least a scale 8 to do stuff with. We'll set the Ariadne so it'll be destroyed, hopefully. And... No, actually, we don't. I think we can just use Chaos Trap Hall. If I get Twin Twists, I'll be screwed as hell, but I'll be able to search next turn. Oh, I could search next turn. I could just set my area at me then. Don't reveal that I'm playing a counter version of Metalysis. We dropped the Draco Engine because it's got hit on the ban list, and the Magician Engine never felt right with Metalysis. So I'm using an engine adopted by the OCG at the moment to make it competitive and it's really working quite well. My Spectre engine of Babuku and Kirin gives you a lot of control with Kirin's abilities obviously. And the um, Ariadne engine has a lot of synergy with Metalysis because they can pop them and search out your counter traps. But I don't want to reveal that I'm running counter traps so he may just fall into this Chaos Trap Hole which is a meta call at the moment because... There's so much vulnerable to this card. So Pantheism, it's going to get Stormfall knowing my luck. And I'll at least have some decent setup from that. Um, that Pantheism, I didn't see a Prime Monarch in there, so that's decent. I don't want to see a Prime Monarch, because then he can set up and do stuff. If he summons like, if he summons Edea, then I can easily kind of trap all of that. And stop its um, plus from there. But if he doesn't and tries to stall forth, I can banish the Erebus, which will give me the same benefit. Hmm. This depends on what is in here. Okay, well, there's the domain. I'm gonna have to give him domain, to be honest. Because he'll be able to search out anything with tenacity, to be fair. Okay, he's setting. Does he have no stall forth? That's good. No stall forth. We don't have to deal with that BS. Payful decision number two, Electric Boogaloo. We're going to add the Gold Driver to the hand, which is great for me. And I, I can search out my Bumboku. Well, I've got Bumboku. He's going to search out my Kirin. And it's highly likely he's running Solemn since he is a Monarch, Monarch player. And Monarchs generally don't play Solemns. Uh, flip over the Ariadne Absolver. And use Gold Driver to destroy Ariadne and get some plus from that. It's very unlikely for that to even be a Solemn at all. So we're going to set the counter because counter is very good. Ariadne will reveal Solemn Strike, Solemn Strike, and Solemn Warning. And that will be good to add to our hand. We still have um, uh, Instant Fusion, but we can't really do much about that. We can't get any. Metalysis monsters onto the board yet, so the counter will indeed help with this. He'll have to destroy something, and Metalysis counter will go off from that, because it's when cards are destroyed, and not monsters. So that will hopefully be a plus. He ha is thinking a lot of time about the Solemn Warning or Solemn Strike, and I'm pretty sure he'll go for Solemn Strike, just because it's more easier to get rid of. I'm probably going to set my Institution just to try and bluff and then hopefully lure out a Twin Twister to hit those two and not my Chaos Trap Hall, which would be absolutely brilliant, but depends on if he's even going to decide at this point that he wants to play the game, because you're going to, because you realise there's a lot of Ariadne stuff that could go on, but if I destroy Ariadne with Steel Ren, then I will be at a disadvantage as well, because I would reveal that I'm running Chaos Trap Hall. And then it's more likely to be a massive twin twister fawn, and that will be horrible. So I'm gonna set my combination just one of each, which do work quite well together actually. And then we can pendulum summon. We can get the Kirin out, we can get the Bumboku, and then we can get the Ariadne back out and do some damage this turn. Although he does have a draw engine in the form of his um, trap guard. It's not exactly what he needs. The trap's better in the graveyard than on the field. At least from my point of view. And then again, I'm not a Monarch player. I don't I don't like to play Monarchs. Every time I've tried to play Monarchs, they just they just crashed and burned. So many bricks, too little time. 
And if you really say, if you're really saying, well, I stole a brick, uh, obviously, what the fuck? Really? Really? Ah, oh, that was annoying. Uh, I'll set all the locals I can get around that. Oh, God, really? You're running a rippling miracles in Monarchs? They don't run back row, usually. Oh, God. That was very, very well timed. Well, timed well. <sighs> It's a great, it's a great card, particularly if you're in a deck that more or less breaks. Um, he has domain, so he won't have a discard. Maybe he has all big monarchs, no Stormforths, even if Stormforth was live, and if, even if Stormforth was there, it's no longer live, and he may not even draw on his ED as his super or super quantums, which he would want. Whoa, he's discarding? Whoa! So he's wanting this in the graveyard so he can do things. <laughs> Drew Twin Twisters. <laughs> really? Flip the combination. Let's rebuild our Monopoly that we had. Which should be fine. I need to get um, Volflame out of the deck and I'll get a Gold Drive out of the deck since that will work best. Does he actually have- oh, you can, you can do this during your player's turn. He, he could be wanting to send the Prime Monarch to the graveyard. From his hand. I don't know if he has it in his hand, but it's likely. He has a domain in the hand. That's one out of the five out of the six cards we know that's there. He no, he's not gonna use it. He's just gonna make me wait forever. So steal around, destroy the combination, and then get my Metolphosis Fusion from the deck. This will allow my combination to go off, and I'll search out Gold Driver, which would be alright. And Oh yeah, I'm, damn, I was most off scar. I clicked the wrong card, which is very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Um, get more of them out of the deck then. That really annoyed me. I can't actually destroy either because I misclicked. So I'm going to have to use my instant fusion at this point. So, yeah. Issues. Indeed, I don't. Think, I believe I still have some Metolphosis left in the deck, so let's get my Adamante out, and then finally be able to use that effect. So we'll destroy. We could destroy Steel Ren. We could destroy Adamante. That's gonna give me a Fusion Monster though, because we want to get Gold Drive out the deck, and Steel Ren's a decent defense at least. And let's set. We could set another counter. I'm thinking that's all right. Now we can activate this counter, and finally start to go off. We actually we can get Vol Flame as well, so we didn't need to get Gold Driver. So Vol Flame from the deck. Then we can flip Metolphosis Fusion and see if we can get a draw. Hopefully, because this is going to be killed at the end of the phase anyway, so it is not needed on the board anymore. It's Ori Hulk there, Metolphosis Fusion gets shuffled back and draw one card. No matter, look, Metolphosis Fusion, but hopefully not. No, don't win Q to win Twister. <laughs> I actually did draw it, really. Uh, that's annoying. And that means my Twin Twister's alive at least. Pendulum Summon. Let's get Volflame and Steel Ren out of the deck. Steel run in defensive mode, obviously, and my Volt Flame in attack mode. No Solemn, no need of that. And then we can attack with Volt Flame and Ori Hulk. This may be when he's going to use the Prime Monarch. Battle Fader, really? Oh, if this hits the Battle Fader, oh, that would be beautiful. Set the Twin Twisters past the turn. Hmm. I couldn't negate the summon of Battle Fader to be fair, but it's a bit of a waste. Hmm. So he's got domain, he's got a way of using Erebrus effects. There's Pantheism, so Stormforth is likely to drop as well. I'm fine for Twin Twistering for 1 at this point. 
because I don't want him to gain any real plus. That's going to get Stormforth likely, or Tenacity, Dot Deck. I don't know why I put the Dot Deck in that, but... Um, yeah, this, why didn't you just hit this on the Banless Konami? Really, really should have just been here on the Banless. To keep this like this degeneracy in the deck in the game, along with Cleforts that are de degenerate and all that kind of barrier stone, ma mass stone with Vantis Fiends and Christias and all that kind of stuff is that is now starting to top. Well, not Cleforts yet, but um, that's a matter of time. Someone will find the right engine to work with it, and boom, very powerful, and obviously gonna be hyped like usual, but. We got Solomon, War, we got Crane's Trap All, and it's Stomp Off. Oh my god, if you actually do send this to the graveyard, it gets its effect. <laughs> That'll be funny. Um, I think he's likely to pop it, play down his domain at this point. I, I would say if he goes for Erebrus, that he is going to probably. Send this to the extra deck, and oh, there's March. This doesn't destroy it. Tyler likely is going for something else though. And he's going to probably flip down the main. And if he does, then I'm going to change. Well, he can change to its effect and blitz both of those away. Hopefully. Oh, then he's going to drop down Ramsey's fiend, isn't he? Well, then again, Francis Fiend's not going to be very good, but Majesty's Fiend would be better. Majesty's Fiend could crush the Ori Hulk uh, with Domain obviously on board. He can't gain its effect, and then maybe try something to get something else. Oh, wow, that Caius. Well, Chaos Trap All. Not dealing with that. Ori Hulk's effect can now destroy March and the Monarchs. Which is great, actually. I don't think my opponent liked that. He's got a Rebus that he can use in hand. Oh, there's the Prime Monarch. I didn't actually see him set, get that in the graveyard, but apparently he did. So that's going to be something I have to get rid of. And can do pretty easily. Hmm. Unless he's not going to flip Domain and Double Summon. No, no double summon. That's good. That's good indeed. Magic Spectre. That is lovely, actually. That is lovely indeed. We can use Metal's Fusion and fuse with that to bring out Ori Hulk and then could destroy Ori Hulk, which is alright. Ah. And now we'll search out for my Kirin. I'll do that. Since it gets rid of one, the Prime Monax, and then he has to keep using his resource to bring it forth. And not to mention Counter is going to go off as well. I believe I only have like one Ori Hulk after that though. Because I'm going to set um, Fusion through this. So, Fuse those two, bring forth Ori Hulk. Then I can shuffle back this to actually find out what I need. Although I could add it back, I could add my um, Steel Run back and then destroy it that way. Or I could just draw Silverbird, which is a thing too. So let's destroy Silverbird and set the Fusion back, because we're probably going to need that against this kind of annoyance. We need something, two things that can beat over the Prime Monarch. And we can do this through Metal Scatter. So we're going to summon out Volflame from the deck because Volflame is our biggest beat stick that is not fusion based, which is good. We've got this to now actually use as well because we have Metosis Volflame, don't have to destroy our Yori Hulk, we're completely fine with that. And we can set combination for next turn maybe? We've already got Metosis Fusion out so we might as well. And just realise we could bounce that back to hand instead and put it, not put it in the graveyard. Which could be GG at this point. Pendulum Summon, Unicorn, Volflame, Volflame, and Silverbird. This may be game. Uh, there's none that good. Yeah, he loses connection. He sees the Kirin and he doesn't want to play anymore. That obviously means he doesn't have a Battle Theta, and yes, 
killed it. Well, that is... That was something. That damn rippling mirror force. Oh, I questioned my existence with that mirror force. God. Ah, don't want to deal with that. But honestly, he's now a battle fader, so he just scooped. He didn't want to deal with it. As soon as he sees the Kirin, boom, no more play. And then I already have some warning, so I can negate battle fader if he had done it. And I would have gone for game. Because I would have this to bounce back the fusion, which would add silver back to my hand. Then I can attack for... 2k, 2a, 2-4, and another 2-4. Solemn warning if he did use Battle Fader, and then boom, gone. No way he could survive that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you enjoyed this and want to see further content. Please leave a comment below if you suggest to my deck, or suggest for my channel in general. If you want to see if any deck uh, updated for the August, uh, not August, the uh, April ban list, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you want to see what I'm streaming, please like my Facebook page, which is in the description below, as it will tell you all the details for that, at least weekly. So thank you for watching. Madrant, signing out.